and we back. Today we're playing NBA Would You Press the Bud, a very simple game that we've played many, many times on this channel. The way it's going to work, there's going to be a magnificent thing. But attached to that magnificent thing is a very, very bad thing, and you got to decide, would you do it? For example, one of the best ones I can remember is, would you agree to be the best basketball player of all time, but you never get paid? You know, there's pros and cons and everything, but you got to find out if you will press the button to make it happen. So the way we usually do this is we go into an Instagram page named NBA Would You Press the Button. We're going to start off there, and I also ask people on Twitter to give me their own because I love my fans. And if you follow me on Twitter, you could potentially make it into a video. Let's get into the first scenario. Would you press the button to become the GOAT, but you are forgotten? One thing I got to say, I don't know why Rip Hamilton is the picture, picture here. Uh, but nonetheless, let me answer this question. No, I would not press the button. That's crazy, right? Be the best of all time, the greatest of all time, but be forgotten. Um, one of the main reasons, one of my main motivations in life is to be remembered for whenever I'm not on this planet. You know, whenever I read a comment on my video saying, Kenny, you just made me smile, or Kenny, your videos helped me through the day, or Kenny, you taught me so much about the league, it makes me feel good, you know? I want to impact people on a positive level, so because of that, I never want to be forgotten, you know? Like, when it's all said and done, LeBron may be the best basketball player of all time, but personally, I'm going to remember him more for what he just did in opening that school in Cleveland, you know? Basketball is very, very small, a very, very small thing in this world. But LeBron has made his impact bigger than basketball, whether it be through charity or opening up this school. And I want to be somebody like that. Obviously, I ain't going to never make as much money as LeBron. But in small aspects of helping people through their day or just I, basically, no, I don't want to be forgotten. James Baker says, would you press the button to have the number one pick, but you have a 50% chance of getting a bust? That's a tough one, man. Um... I think I'm going to press the button, and it's weird because usually I'm pretty conservative on these type of things, you know. I would rather have a number 10 pick and draft the okay player than have a number 1 pick and draft the bust. But that 50% chance that he is great makes me want to do it. And that's kind of where a lot of NBA executives or front offices do it. Like, man, this guy not great just yet, but I think he's got the potential to be really, really good. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I will take my chance here. I'm pressing the button. Toasted said, you have LeBron in your team, but you're the worst defensive team in the league. Shout out to you, Toasted. He makes some of my thumbnails here and there. Um, I'm pressing this button. Basically, ain't this what the Cleveland Cavaliers were last year? They were a bottom three defense, but all ended up still going to the finals. They didn't win it, but still going to the finals. Having LeBron in your team instantly makes you a contender. I'm going to press this button 100% of the time. King Hemi says, you get your dream job on TV covering the NBA, but you lose it through the wire crew, like for good. Not friends no more. Listen, y'all know my dream is, again, to be on TV one day talking about the NBA. But never would I risk any of my friendships for it. I'm not pressed this button. I know that's crazy. But these, the through the wire guys... Uh, it's nine of us total, right? But through the wires, there's four people that you see on camera. It's nine friends. And these nine friends have been with me for for years upon years upon years through thick and thin, through depression, through everything. These guys have been with me and stuck with my side. I, I would not press this button to get rid of them. Not in a million years. Those are my guys. They will forever be my guys. And I, I'd rather I'd rather be homeless on the street than to lose my best friends. John Hernandez said, "You shoot 45% from three, but airball every time you miss." I'm pressing this button 1,000% of the time. 45% is a crazy number. I would literally shoot threes all day. Literally be the best three-point shooter of all time. Airball in here and there don't even matter. And Isaac, who replied to us, said it perfectly. I know you're asking him, not me, but blank yes. In today's league, 45% from three getting you two years, $35 million deal. And that's easily, easily. I would literally just chuck up shots. 45% of them go go in regardless. Airball or not, I'm pressing this button. Make that cheddar. Tanner says, be a big time sports commentator like Scream and A. Smith. But your opinions are on Skip Bayless and Calvin Cowherd's level of stupid. No. Yeah, I know. There are people out there that would literally sell their soul for their dream job. I wouldn't do that. 
Everything I say on this YouTube channel channel is what I believe. Everything I say on the podcast is what I believe. I would never just say some crazy stuff just for people to watch. You feel me? Like Stephen, uh, uh, Skip Bayless and Colin Cowher have said some crazy stuff. But at the end of the day, I think the reason they're saying these crazy things is because they need people to watch their show. They need people to listen to their show. I don't want to be that guy. I want to be somebody in sports media that actually tells the truth. <laughs> you know, tell the truth. Not just saying crazy hot takes just because. Just respect me for my opinions and that's it. But I'm not I'm not stooping to that level. Jordan said, you make $1 million, but you can't ever leave Illinois. This is not a basketball one, but I thought it was interesting. I don't think I pressed this button. $1 million is a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of things for an entire lifetime, it's not that. You know, if you were making $1 million in a year, that's a lot of money. But just like for your lifetime, one meal is not enough. And one of the reasons I want to make a lot of money is to tour the world. You feel me? So what's the point of having that money if I still got to sit in this apartment or the, the only big place I can see is Chicago, man. I want to be to go to New York. I want to go to L.A. I want to go overseas. I want to go to France. I want to meet my boy Marco. Shout out to you, Marco. So no, I'm not pressing this button. It's your boy Green said inducted into the Hall of Fame, but earns zero rings. Yeah, I would do this. Um, being a great player doesn't necessarily mean you have to win rings. You know, it does help your resume for sure. If you say. If you compare a guy like Jordan to a guy like John Stockton, obviously Jordan gonna see better because he got six rings and John Stockton got zero. But I don't think because John Stockton got zero, he shouldn't be considered elite. You know, you don't need to have rings to be great because at the end of the day, it's it's a lot that goes into winning a championship. It's not a one person thing. So I'm gonna press this button. Of course, I want to win championships, but getting to the Hall of Fame is also cool too. Big Boy Panda said, "Would you press the button?" If you could average 15 assists per game, but also average 7.5 turnovers per game. No, sir. Because that turnover to assist margin is not good. Two turnovers, I mean, two assists per turnover is not a good ratio. You can average 20 assists, but if you get 10 turnovers, you ain't really impacting the game that greatly, you know? Because in those 10 turnovers may turn into 20 fast break points for the opponent team. I'm not going to do that. But if you average 15 assists per year, I mean, per game, you may end up you know, if you do this for years and years and years, you may catch John Stockton. And that's crazy because John Stockton is so much ahead of the rest of the world when it comes to assists. But you'll also be without a doubt, <laughs> without a doubt, the most turnovers in NBA history. I'm going to say no. I would take six assists in one turnover more than 15 assists and seven turnovers. Jordan says you get 50 million subs on YouTube, but you can't do your podcast anymore. You're trying to get me wrapped up. See, listen, there's loopholes and everything. I will press this button. But instead of doing a podcast, we do just a YouTube video. A long YouTube video. It's just kind of what we do for House of Highlights, ain't it? We don't have to call it a podcast. It's a video now. So, yeah, that's the loophole. I'm going to press this button, and we're just going to make YouTube videos. Thank y'all so much for getting to this point in the video. Again, if you follow me on Twitter, you can be like some of these guys and end up making it into a video. Link is in the description. Again, um, Friday night, if you're in Chicago, you want to meet me or any of my podcast homies, JBA All-Star Game. We're going to be there with media passes. We may be interviewing a certain big baller. I don't want to say nothing more than that. Yeah, we may be interviewing a, a, interviewing a certain big baller. Baller. Ridiculous. Crazy how things uh, unfold. And thank y'all so much for watching this video. Leave a like. I'll be back tomorrow. Peace.